Hi, I'm Pam Brantley with Realty Masters. Uh, right now I'm going to talk to you about another investment opportunity and that's small multifamily properties. By small multifamily properties, I mean things like duplexes, triplexes, quadplexes, and possibly even, you know, 8 to 12 unit apartment buildings. Anything over that is, is a little bit bigger than most beginning investors would be able to, to deal with. Here in Pensacola, um, some of the duplexes and triplexes are located in single family neighborhoods, but that's not the norm. A lot of them are located because, of, because they have to be zoned to be able to build a duplex. So a lot of them are located in a street where there's nothing but duplexes. Same thing with quads. A lot of them are located in a little community that just has several quadplexes that were built at one time and developed. Um, most of them are owned by single owners and not one owner owns the whole complex. So one of the things I have found in my dealings with these small multifamilies is that you have to pay attention to what's going on at your neighbor's property. Are your neighbors keeping up the yard? Are they keeping up their property? Are they screening their tenants? Are they, you know, keeping up with the times? If they're not, it will affect your ability to get higher rents and to attract better tenants. So you really want to look into that, especially if you're dealing with quadplexes. What we have found is owners will buy one quadplex and all the owners around them are not really keeping them up as well as we would like them or they're not screening their tenants and the owners want to get higher rent, but your rents are going to be based pretty much upon what the, the ones next door and around them are. Other things that you might want to keep in mind are school districts um, looking for, you know, some better schools. In Florida, they have ratings for schools that are like A through F, and so I would say you would want to have at least a C school. Um, you also can go to Escambia County or City of Pensacola and you can check into crime rates in the neighborhood and I think that would be very important because people want to feel safe. And then the last thing that could affect your the cost is of course the age of the property and if it's located in a flood zone. Uh, properties right close to the water are more likely to flood or more likely to be located in a flood zone, but there are other areas of town that could be a consideration as well. So you want to look at the flood maps and make sure that you're not located in a flood zone because the cost of the flood insurance can affect your rate of return. If you have any questions about multifamily properties, feel free to give me a call anytime.